I had, I had seen one, a big wake push off of this thing when we came up to it. Yeah. Oh yeah, there he goes. This guy has made fun of me for always wanting Zaxby's on every road trip, but he like insisted we pulled over. Yeah. It also says lobby closed. Oh. Damn. Damien's been craving Zaxby's we get here and it's closed. No, how about we're lobby getting here closed. and Eric's like, yo, we gotta be quick. And then he pulls out the camera and we're like, here, I'll vlog. Something on the open ocean, on the metro, chasing escrow. You backslide while I'm restroom. Sidewinding, I'm high rising, I'm so fly that I'm skydiving. It's no problems, there's no hiding. Got other things that I'm worried about. Man, we gon' breathe, trying to get into the mood though. Hop into the whip, got my mind on my paper. I wouldn't be mad if you wanna get it too, yo. But I ain't got time, so I gotta see you later. They think that I'm soulless, like Tupac picture me rolling. Yeah, I be music composing while trying to open this lotus. I'm like like a camera that's trying to capture my purpose is focused. Yeah. You out of options, I'm like a doctor. I'll double the dosage. Oh yeah, I'll work with the medics. I'm All right, so we are now about 45 minutes to an hour away from camp. We stopped at Walmart on the way just to get any last minute essentials, some groceries for the week. We were trying to race the sun, get an afternoon session in, but the traffic we got caught in was not allowing that to happen. And I got another phone. This is how we do it all day. I'm a man, I'm help you. Get on the phone all day long. Let's go inside the store and grab some stuff. I don't know, but that looks fire right there, boy. By the time we get there, it's gonna be dark and we gotta unload everything because we wanna get an early start in the morning. So, let's get on the road and uh, get this going. Let's go. <laughs> I wake up this morning, and uh, it's a beautiful morning, man. Came out here, watched the sunrise, ready to get the day started, boy! First morning here at PAC. We're gonna head out, we're gonna run out to, uh, to some of the areas that Damon's been wanting to try out. Jameson coincidentally got into some fish there yesterday, so let's see how it goes. So focus about Eric and I not wearing the same shirt, now Jameson's wearing the same shirt that I'm wearing. Tripping, man. <laughs> it looks better on me. It did it better. Dang, dude, that was that was dangerous place right there. Jameson yeah. walked up in here the other morning and said, You're out of coffee. And I said, Wait, when you pulled in you said it feels good to be home. Make your own coffee. <laughs> I told yeah. him my wife makes my coffee. At I home. mean hell. He went in there and made it. Yeah, but we don't sleep together. <laughs> Right now, gonna run out, kind of get out to the fishing grounds. We out. Pulled up to the first spot, trying to get situated. And Damien rubbing his face down with some sunscreen. There's a couple of them, I see him. I, they were facing directly away from me. I didn't want to cast it on their back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was gonna hit him on the back. 
they were facing directly away from me. Did you see them? There's little fish too, by the way. Oh yeah, there he goes. Oh my God. Oh, I see him. It was so close I couldn't strip that. So, we hooked the fish. Which is, I hooked the fish, lost it. We've had a few, very few shots, but um, Damien is deciding we're gonna run really far. Kind of gonna just like throw a Hail Mary pass here and try to get onto something because the water is really dirty out here right now. Yeah, yeah. It's not a red fish, but... Damien's been pulling me around all morning and I've had a few shots. Hooked one nice fish, lost it. I've had a few other shots at good fish that just haven't connected for whatever reason. And I was about to say, all right, let's switch up. And I look down and I see a big shadow. Dropped the fly on him and he ate it. And it's a, as they call a big ugly. But right now I will happily take it. It's not even as big as last trip, but it makes him look a little cooler. It's been a long morning, but finally ended up with a fish in the boat. Let's get him back in the water so Damien can finally get some shots at some of these fish. It's, let me tell you, it's much windier up here than on the bow. Just being elevated a little bit higher. Oh, what is that? Black drum? Oh, it's a big sheepy. Oh, fish coming across, redfish. 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, coming straight at you, right off that chute. He's going right to left. You see him? You see the wake? You see the wake? Dude, come on. Drop the fly. He's right in front of, right there, right there, right there. <laughs> he was coming fast. That's why I said straight 12 o'clock. He was literally right at the boat's 12. He's got lucky, bro. He's got lucky. Not quite, but still a good red. When I saw him come up over that shallow, he looked like at least 35. Yeah, nice fish, but not. Yeah. How you doing, boy? Let's go get off the camera. Time to catch some fish. Yeah. It's not what we really came for. There was a black drum about three times the size of this tailing and I saw the redfish next to him I'm like I want the red I just caught a pretty decent black drum before so I haven't caught a redfish yet so I'm, I threw it purposely in front of the much smaller redfish just to break the redfish ice 
Redfish right at my feet, dropped a fly right next to him. He's far on. Not quite the size we're looking for, but I've seen him back home. <laughs> he cast it over the little uh, island. Island. Saw this redfish come around that other bank and he decided to cast over this island at him and sure enough he ate it immediately. Gasoline thing. Just got back to camp. We got to build a barbecue grill, clean up a bit, get some dinner going, and uh, get back after it tomorrow. All right, day two. Damien, what do you think we're gonna get into today? We're gonna find the bulls on the inside today. What is that thing? What is that little thing right there? Oh, it's a redfish. Check it out. This is uh, the view from behind the camper. A lot of debris from the hurricane, as you can see. But it's right on the water. Got the camper right here. This is a parking space for the boat and the truck. Boat ramp is right there. Literally about 100, 200 yards away. So, yeah, no, we gotta drive all the way to the boat ramp, bro. We gotta drive to the boat ramp, bro. We got a barbecue pit now. It's a little one, but Pack actually took a direct hit from Hurricane Ida just about two months ago, month and a half, two months ago. Thanks to a lot of you guys. I designed a sticker and we had it available on the website as a donation. All the money came directly to Pack, help us rebuild. We were able to rebuild the docks. Got some new kayak launches in there. so much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I stripped set, but he came right at me, so I don't know how good of a set I got. Yeah, little guy. I don't think so. Looks about the same. <laughs> you might have to go after him. He on. These fish were backing two fish backs out of the water in the back of a creek. Put the fly on them 18 times because I kept getting too far, too short, too far left. Finally put it in front of him and he ate it.
So it's our last night here in Louisiana. We are getting everything situated. We packed up, making some dinner now. I'm gonna go hang out with Jameson and them. They made some gumbalaya that I am not gonna eat. They got a seafood cookout going over there. So we're just gonna enjoy this last night of defeat. Figure out when we're coming back for redemption. Elevate, 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 elevate. I knew that one day we'd make it to better days. Not in my circle, please don't come around. All of my people is holding me down. All of your people is keeping you down. I want a piece of the pie. Honestly, look in my eyes. I am the realest and only the strongest survive. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Ooh. Ooh.